How's it going, everybody? I'm here at Project Development Kits with Chris Leenbauer. How are you doing? I am great, Josh. Thanks for stopping by. Yeah, what's going on here? So, we developed what we call, uh, it's kind of a concept called uh, Legos for Electronics. I love it. We assume that if you're doing projects with Arduinos or Raspberry Pis or Beagle Bones, you have the electronics, we have everything you need to mount your electronics and build your projects faster. So, the way it works, we have these adapters, they have fixed feet and they have these little spring feet. Okay. You mount your electronics to them and once the electronics are mounted, we have the base which has a grid of holes. You set the fixed feet in, set it down, squeeze and snap. Then you can mount your, your project components. If that's in the wrong place, you just move it over. Once it's in, it stays put. That allows you to wire it up. This is a finished project. This is actually the controller we use to make our own product. Wow. And if you stop working or if you need to store it, we have a cover. The cover just snaps on. Oh, that's cool. Now it's ready to go into the backpack. Yeah. Hang it up on the wall on this little hook on the shelf when you're ready to go again. Take the cover off and away you go. We have one more thing I want to show you. We developed this for our STEM education uh, Whoa, partners. look at that. But it works great for engineers and makers. We added storage, which has these uh, nice machined HDPE handles with these triggers. All you got to do is set it down, click, carry it away. Very robust when you're ready to go. Pops off, and there we go. Wow. So what uh, components? I, I see it looks like you got an Arduino. Uh, Raspberry Pi Zero, what kind of devices do you have those mounts for? We have right now about nine or ten of the most used mounts, so things typically people use, Raspberry Pi 3, 4, Zero, Arduino Uno and Mega, and BeagleBone. Um, but even if you we don't have an adapter, there's usually a way to mount something. You can see right here, we include in our kits, we have these little standoffs mm -hmm. and self-tapping screws you just zip them right sure. into the bare click, sure. and off you go. Okay, that's beautiful. Wow, what a cool idea. I guess that, I mean, for someone who's rapid prototyping electronics, this little engineering kit or for STEM classes, that's really handy. That's exactly the target. This is you cool, bet. Chris. Where do people find you or find more about your uh, your website or where, where you do this? If you come to our website at phasedoc.com, that's P-H-A-S-E-D-O-C-K.com, it'll show you everything about what we do, uh, drop us an email if you got questions. We're made in America and, and happy to be part of the maker and the ham community. Oh, that's wonderful. Thanks for uh, sharing this with us and uh, thanks for doing the interview. Thanks so much for stopping by. I was about to walk away and I'm here still at Phase Doc and Chris, I saw this. This is pretty impressive. What What is going on here? Sure, Josh. We This is a tactical case that we built for a customer who has Signals Capture Board and the heart of it is a Surface Pro, but you could basically mount any tablet that you want in here right. for compute power. But the cool thing is that when you open it up, it's inside a Pelican case. This has a power supply with room for two separate power supplies. And it's got a really cool modular mounting system at the top and the bottom with those these bolsters. Slots. Yeah, those yep. slots there you can mount slots into. cut into them. So you could run zip ties either this way or that way or you can attach uh, cable ties and bumper stops, very, very flexible, so that you can mount anything you want in there, really. It's got really good hardware, latches yeah. tight. Let me, let me see the inside real quick. I sure. want to make a, a, a point, a note, if we can. Mm -hmm. So a couple things that jumped out to me is, one, um, you got a battery and you got an AC adapter, yep. um, but you've technically got space that you could put AHF radio in there pretty easily. Yep, sure could. And you've got these pass-throughs for HDMI. Yep. Do they have pass-throughs for like SO239 for coax? I'm pretty sure they do. There's a lot of different pass-throughs. Amphenol makes a lot, but there are a lot of different sources. Yeah, so that, I mean, right there, what you're saying is you kind of just cut what you need. Absolutely. A, a pass-through, hole, whatever. You can put whatever you yeah, want, pass that's, it through the front. I like that, okay. You bet, you bet. And then closed up. The other cool thing yeah. is We've added these, what they're, they're called Veltex planes. Mm -hmm. And what you do is any component you have, you mount um, uh, Velcro here, the hook part to it. 
and then yep. you can set it down. It's securely mounted, but you can also pull it off. So I love it. Versatile. Got a control panel for your power AC pass through to run it. Pretty much what you need. Yeah, Chris, this is pretty cool. So this is uh, not necessarily we were saying not productized yet. It's not yet, but we're uh, looking to uh, customize it for the ham market so we're looking for input on what people would like and how would they get in contact with you as far as this product or this project well you can email me i'm at chris c-h-r-i-s at phase doc p-h-a-s-e-d-o-c-k.com i love it all right thanks again chris for showing us this appreciate it josh